Guys, how you doing? My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and today's show is all about the beef jerky. So look, I'm gonna break down a basic teriyaki beef jerky. Get yourself a London broil, eye of round, top round, any lean meat with not a lot of fat content in it, and follow my recipe to uh, marinate it for anywhere from four to 24 hours in the uh, fridge. You could use a Weber kettle, you could use a Pit Boss pellet, any pellet, the Z-Grill pellet, the master built 1050, 800, 560, the Char Griller 980. Basically any pit you got, you just gotta keep the temperature as low as you can. I'll keep this Pit Boss under two, try to hold her at 180 Fahrenheit or so. And we're looking at about a three to four hour cook. So look, I'm gonna keep this, uh, I'm gonna keep this video as basic and simple as possible. I'm gonna try to keep it brief, because really, man, it is not hard to do beef jerky, and it is definitely something you're gonna wanna do for the summer of 21. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Guys, look, just announced Father's Day 620, the weekend wind down barbecue talk. It's gonna be a Dell, a strong knife. This is the Pitmaster and meat knife, right? You got your little bottle opener also. This is gonna be one winner. You gotta be in the chat to win the knife. Oh, yeah. Details down below. If you've never made beef jerky, hey man, this is something you definitely want to do. It is a great snack to have in the uh, fridge or up on the counter, something to pick on during the week, and it does get you outside smoking and it's cheap to do. Now I usually use a uh, London broil to do my jerky, but I had the uh, eye of round left over from my French dip video. I'll leave a link up top if you want to check out that video. So any lean meat will get you a nice jerky. The key here is you want to get a thin slice. Now it does help to, uh, if you want to semi-freeze the meat, maybe it helps you get a, a thin slice that way. If you don't have a, a really sharp knife to uh, get your jerky thin, I am using Dell Strong Knives. And look, I got a 10% down in the uh, description. This is definitely a knife that you can cherish. It is sharp as sharp can be, and it'll last you years. Oh, yeah. So this is your basic uh, teriyaki type of marinade. This is probably one of my favorite types of jerky. There are many other different ones that you can make, but hey man, this one is simple, it's easy, and usually all these ingredients are sitting right in your fridge. Now I do have full ingredient list down in the uh, description. Hey man, listen, I got my email down there also. Anytime you need to reach out and ask me a question, just hit me up on email. Oh, yeah. Basically here, what you want to do after your uh, marinade, before you put it in the uh, baggie for a uh, refrigerated rest, you want to get that meat in the bowl. You want to kind of move it around. You want to make sure you got that marinade that any of the meat is not stuck together per se. And you just want to move it around and get that marinade all over the meat. Get that in a baggie four to 24 hours in the fridge. The longer, the better will do you nice. So look, we got the uh, Pit Boss pellet grill is uh, warming up and ready to go. I'll have that on the uh, smoke setting, which will keep the pit under two, probably around the 180. You want to go 180, 160, 190, somewhere under two. But hey, man, as that's warming up the next day, get your meat out, get it in a little colander type thing right there. You want to get the moisture off, but do not put water on it. 
just kind of move the meat, let the uh, moisture drain off, and get yourself some paper towels and start drying it. This is a uh, very important step to the uh, beef jerky making uh, process, of course. So look, once you get that meat dried off, you will get it in the uh, pit and just leave it, man. It is going to take approximately three to four hours. Um, just leave it and let it run. So look, we got the uh, jerky on. We'll keep the uh, pit boss in that smoke setting. That'll keep it under 200 and we'll apply some smoke. I think I got some cherry pellets in the uh, hopper, which will give a, uh, give a nice sweet taste for sure. We're gonna let this run for approximately, you know, I might peek at it at two, but she'll run up to three, four hours and she wants to dry out nice. Okay, and this will make a nice week long snack. So look, we are three and a half hours in, and we are gonna open up the uh, open up the Pit Boss pellet grill and give it a look. And basically what you're looking for is you want a nice bend on the jerky. You don't wanna see any moisture on the uh, top as you bend it. And also, you don't want it to crack. If it cracks, it's overcooked. But let's take a look. Guys, look, I am gonna let this go for about another 10 minutes. Then we'll get it up on the board and I'll show you what to do next. And just like that, man, we are done. Oh man, that's a nice color. Yeah. I mean, again, if you've never made jerky, man, this is something you gotta do, man. You can, you can match what you could buy, or even do better than what you could buy, and you could do it for, you know, a six-dollar piece of London broil will make you jerky for the week. So look, I am gonna take this in live, but guys, let me remind you a couple things here. Number one, don't forget our live Sunday night barbecue chat slash giveaway. That is 6 p.m. Eastern, and hey man, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified on every time the channel does a future upload. That is uh, very important to the channel. I appreciate you all. Now let's go in live. Okay. Here we go. We are about three and a half, maybe three hours and 45 minutes or so on this cook here. So again, when you uh, bend the jerky, you want it to bend. You don't want it to break. And you don't want to see any, any moisture on the bend. Basically, that's how you can tell that it's done. And of course, you got some different ones here that might be a little bit more crispy than the other ones, but hey man, Molly is sitting right there under the camera, trust me, and she'll get the, uh, she'll get any ones that I deem more suitable for her and less for me. Um, usually I'll let these cool, I'll put them in the fridge or just leave them out on the counter. You don't even have to refrigerate them. And I'm telling you, once you make this recipe or many other jerky recipes, 
you'll never buy store board again. I mean, hey, you got like five ounces in a store for what, five, six, seven bucks? I went inside a uh, jerky store a couple, couple months back and it was like, I don't know, 20 bucks for 10 ounces or something, something crazy. I mean, this is about, it's probably a good pound, pound and a half here. And I don't think it cost me but a couple bucks, right? It was the ends on that roast beef cook that I did. And again, you could use that eye around, top round, um, London broil. I mean, any kind of lean meat you could use for jerky. So it is definitely a, uh, it's definitely something you got to make. Next time you're in the market, check out the lean meat. Check out the meat that you walk past all the time and you never buy and make yourself some jerky. Look, I am going to take a... Uh, quick little on-screen taste test. Oh, yeah. Man, I love making jerky. It's just always so satisfying to make since I've purchased it for so long in the, uh, in the supermarkets. Mm, pork molly. And that is it. I'm gonna roll my Patreons and YouTube members right here or somewhere. And until next time, we will see you.